Last week, Christine Quinn sent a letter to constituents describing the ways in which Intro 35 will improve the lives of carriage horses. Quinn says that the bill now prohibits drivers from working below 34th Street. Has anyone ever seen a horse-drawn carriage below 34th Street? Quinn says the carriages can no longer operate between 3 a.m. and 7 a.m. Who is taking carriage rides between 3 a.m. and 7 a.m.? Quinn says that the horses will have larger 8 by 8 stalls, but the majority of stalls are already that size, and they're far too small for draft horses. There is nothing in this bill that will improve the day-to-day -day lives of carriage horses. <clears throat> to add fuel to the fire, Quinn held a press conference during which she praised her compassion for animals and media outlets around the country ran stories with the headline, Big Apple Improves Lives of Carriage Horses in the City. The protections for the horses, not necessarily from this particular bill, but from the ASPCA and our health department uh, are, I believe, adequate. Christine Quinn might have fooled millions of people around the country, but she hasn't fooled the hundreds of New Yorkers who have worked for years to end this cruelty. For us, Quinn's mean-spirited and deceitful bill is the straw that broke the horse's back. We will continue to educate New Yorkers about lies like this and about her campaign corruption, her slush funds, and the many ways in which Christine Quinn has betrayed the gay community and all New Yorkers.